The Treaty of Bretagne was a treaty signed on 25 May 1360, between King Edward III of England and King John II of France. In retrospect it is seen as having marked the end of the first phase of the Hundred Years' War, as well as the height of English hegemony on the continent. It was signed at Bretagne, a village near Chartres, and later ratified as the Treaty of Calais on 24 October 1360. Background. The treaty was signed several years after John was taken as a prisoner of war at the Battle of Poitiers. The ensuing conflicts in Paris between Etienne Marcel and the Dauphin and the outbreak of the Jacquerie Peasant Revolt weakened French bargaining power. The exactions of the English who wished to yield as few as possible of the advantages claimed by them in the abortive Treaty of London the year before, made negotiations difficult, and the discussion of terms begun early in April lasted more than a month. Terms By virtue of this treaty, Edward III obtained, besides Guyenne and Gascony, Poitou, Saint-Ong and Ornus, Agenais, Perigord, Limousin, Quercy, Bigorra, the Countship of Gauray, Angoumois, Rouergue, Montreuil sur Mer, Pontieu, Calais, Sangat, Ham, and the Countship of Guinness. The King of England was to hold these free and clear, without doing homage for them. Furthermore, the treaty established that title to all the islands that the King of England now holds would no longer be under the suzerainty of the King of France. On his side, the King of England gave up the Duchy of Touraine, the Countships of Anjou and Maine, and the suzerainty of Brittany and of Flanders. He also renounced all claims to the French throne. The terms of Bretagne were meant to disentangle the feudal responsibilities that had caused so much conflict, and as far as the English were concerned, would concentrate English territories in an expanded version of Aquitaine. England also restored the rights of the Bishop of Coutances to Alderney, which had been stripped from them by the King of England in 1228. John II had to pay three million gold crowns for his ransom, and would be released after he paid one million. The occasion was the first minting of the franc, equivalent to one livre tournois. As a guarantee for the payment of his ransom, John gave as hostages two of his sons, several princes and nobles, four inhabitants of Paris, and two citizens from each of the nineteen principal towns of France. This treaty was ratified and sworn to by the two kings and by their eldest sons on 24 October 1360 at Calais. At the same time the special conditions relating to each important article of the treaty and the renunciatory clauses in which the kings abandoned their rights over the territory they had yielded to one another were signed. Edward III retired finally to England, for the last time. John II gives himself up. While the hostages were held, John returned to France to try and raise funds to pay the ransom. In 1362 John's son Louis of Anjou, a hostage in English held Calais, escaped captivity. So, with his stand-in hostage gone, John felt on a bound to return to captivity in England. He died in captivity in 1364 and Charles V succeeded him as King of France. In 1369, on the pretext that Edward III had failed to observe the terms of the Treaty of Bretagne, the King of France declared war once again. By the time of the death of Edward III in 1377, English forces had been pushed back into their territories in the southwest around Bordeaux. Legacy the treaty did not lead to lasting peace but procured nine years' respite from the Hundred Years' War. In the following years, French forces were involved in battles against the Anglo-Navarrais and the Bretons. 